What's up team? You guys might remember the time that we made a flamethrower out of coffee creamer. It's pretty cool. But today, we thought we'd step it up a little bit and introduce this fan to make great balls of fire. So here's what we're gonna do. I have this fan right here, okay? And this is gonna be kind of like our engine source. And I'm gonna take that cardboard over there and I'm gonna build like a little funnel right here. And then I'm gonna pour this coffee creamer into that funnel. And then it's gonna suck up into here. And then I'm gonna build another funnel right here and gear that sort of, that, that dust that's funneling in here. And it's gonna push it out here. And then I'm gonna take this blowtorch. I'm gonna place it right there. Fireball. Against popular belief, this is not a rhinoceros. It is, it is a fan, it is a blowtorch. Uh, it's, it's very close to the blowtorch that we want. Um, we just have to fine tune a couple different things here. Um, we're just fine tuning this right here. Try to get as much cone as we possibly can. Yeah, it looks a little butchered. Not the best, airflow is a little wonky. But uh, we're working on it, we're working on it. The fan might be too weak, actually. That's, that's my biggest concern. Fan might just not, just not put out. All right, uh, just did not work. Um, the fan is too weak. We're not getting enough flow out. Basically, I'm just kind of shaking the whole device and it's just getting, the, the coffee creamer just kind of falling off the flame. And so it's really not shooting out, really not getting fired balls per se. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna put my Nickopedia thinking cap on and um, we're gonna get it, we're gonna make it work. I think what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna get a bigger and more powerful fan. That's step number one. Um, so I'm gonna clean myself off from all this coffee powder and we'll be back with a bigger and better fan. Like, like go mode right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a cat with a little water bottle. <laughs> like that sorry. Back off. That is bad. <laughs> Our fan didn't work last time, yeah. so I think still back with the Ryobi. Gotta love Ryobi. So what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna test this whole this whole, this whole the whole entire day is about just getting this thing to work, right? Um, we just want to get as much of this coffee mate airborne and so um, We're gonna tape like another little tube over here and There's gonna be a hole in that tube and then that's gonna have like a milk carton with this full of it And then I'm gonna pull the trigger and then shake the carton at the same time and try to get the dust to come down and then into this projectile tube if we can get like half the can or more in the air that's what's gonna allow us to get this big, huge, long flame. And so that's what it's all about. Getting as much of this dust in the air as possible and then come, having it come down on a fire source. Now we're not gonna do this out here because, uh, oh, there's too many people. We're gonna do this out in the desert. Today is all about just getting this thing to work. Let's get it to work. All right, there we go. Um, it fits in there nice and snug. Maybe too snug. Um, All right, so let's see if this works. Perfect. So that's kind of like, then we're gonna attach this to the blower. I'm gonna cut the top off that. I didn't notice with razor blades. So at the end where accidents happen, start getting a little crazy. This little slip of the hand on the razor blade goes through your finger, face. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, so gooey. So the next step is to add this to that. See that fits in there quite nicely. Yeah, well that works. Time to connect these two pieces. Done. 
Well, kind of. Full holes. All right, so we're going to uh, duct tape the living crap out of that. You know, things just don't go your way. You just use duct tape. It's pretty much the standard here on the Nickipedia channel. Now, shut up and don't tell anyone. There's never like a contest for like duct taping your way through like all engineering projects. I feel like I should enter it because I feel like I'm really good at duct taping. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I feel like it is. All right, connect this to that. Let's go ahead and fill this up with some uh, powder and see what kind of cloud we can create. Okay, it was kind of sloppy there, but all right, let's give it a let's give it a go. Let's see what Good happens. old college try. <laughs> I think that's gonna. Holy I think that's gonna that is, look, that's look gonna how, be terrifying. Look it is. That will be terrifying. All right, so we have our, our flame source going. Gonna go ahead and fill this guy up. Now we're doing a test. We're not gonna do it like crazy big, just enough to see if it actually works so that we don't go out to the desert with nothing. Okay, oh. there we go. My blown up. Oh. Okay, so it's not as powerful as I thought. So let's go ahead and fill it all the way up. Let's see what we can get out of it. Oh. I think I put the flame out. So I think we need more flame source. So what I what I have is I have a acetylene torch. Uh, or a propane torch. So I think we'll use that out in the desert since that'll be like, that will stay lit. We'll just kind of tape it in place. Like, lit. Up. It's lit. And then I'll find the maximum way to like create the cloud and bring it down. So it does work. I mean, you saw there's a little bit of flame. What's cool about out in the desert is it's just can't, can't burn anything because there's nothing out there. Um, you know, if this thing catches on fire, that's fine. You know, just brought it out there. Uh, but overall, I think this thing will work. We just need to kind of figure out where where the best like you know place to shoot the actual powder is. But yeah, and, uh, I think it'll be pretty sweet. You ready? Okay.